Welcome back to the channel everyone. I am Rongo Pop and I thought I'd do another tutorial today. Uh, I've been drawing my comic. Uh, I've been drawing two comics actually, Madcap Wrestling and The Amazing Red Bee. What you see before you on the screen right here is uh, a splash page that just came out this week. Uh, you can check out my comics over on Webtoons, on Topus, and on their own website. I'll have the links for those down in the description below. Uh, but yeah, I've been drawing a lot of speed lines because they convey action, they convey speed, they convey convey motion, all kinds of good stuff like that. And uh, it's actually, I mean, it's deceptively simple to draw speed lines, especially when you're dealing with Procreate. Because in Procreate, you could just put down the line, obviously, but you want them straight, you don't want them wiggly. And then you want them, sometimes you want them in a certain design. So what I'm going to do here is going to show you a few different ways that I've gone about it. I've drawn them uh, by hand without guides. I've drawn them with guides with a drawing assist and a uh, perspective guide on in Procreate. And then I've also gone ahead and uh, got a couple different brushes from some different artists out there on Etsy. And I'll show you those and I'll have the links for you down below also. Uh, but yeah, if you enjoy this, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, and uh, let's get into this tutorial real quick. So first up, what we got here, we got Red Bee smashing uh, Mothball. And so you see I already have the speed lines drawn. What I've done in this instance, uh, hopefully the, you can pick it up. Yeah, it looks like you can pick it up pretty well there. I have, go to the wrench, go to drawing guide, check that on, edit drawing guide, and then you go to perspective there. And when you go to the perspective, you can see you can place that uh, perspective guideline anywhere you want. And so you could do that. I'm going to change the color here to hopefully make it a little bit darker. Pick up on the screen there. Done. And I've already done this because this is a finished page. But basically, you would just go, go here, right here. New layer. I'm going to turn this old layer off, which already has my pre-drawn speed lines. And I'll use red just to pick it up a little bit better. And with all this new layer, you want to tap it. You want to hit Drawing Assist. And now wherever you draw, oops, wherever you draw, it's going to be going down to this perspective point right down here. You just want to be careful a little bit because in including the perspective spot where you're picking on the page, you can still draw up and down, parallel, and uh, her horizontal and vertically so you can still do that but as long as you follow follow these uh lines here and then you can do your speed lines just like that you don't have to be exactly on the line but it's still going to pick that perspective spot and then from there you just keep going and you just make all the speed lines that you want pretty simple if you want a lot, if you want a little, if you want to stack them super close to each other, just when it helps to kind of zoom in on the page so you can go really close to one another. And yeah, you would just go all around the page and you would have that. The other way of doing that is uh, just go ahead and erase all of this. A second way of doing it is if you want to try to stay in the same perspective spot on the page but you don't want it like totally like if you're using a ruler you want a little bit more I don't know why you would want it sometimes sometimes people do for their style for just the way it looks more of a natural wiggly line I guess what you could do is do you use guides and you can do like a guide here a guide there all through this and of course this is on a separate layer so it would make it really super easy to uh, erase Okay, so those are my guides. I would go back here, tap that layer, turn drawing assist off, and now you still see you see you see you still have the lines there, but you're not beholden to them. So you have your guides and now you're just going however you want. You want it maybe you don't want it to add or not add, maybe you don't want it to go directly down to that perspective meeting spot. You want it to look in a little bit more for some reason, you can do that. And of course, the different type of pin you use will help you in controlling your the smoothness of the line. So if you do have a shaky hand, I, I have a pretty shaky hand when it comes to drawing. But you can kind of see it does give it a different bit of a look. And so you would just do that all the way around. And 
and you're you're kind of still staying on your guide because you do have that guide there to uh, point you in the right direction but you're not staying so close to it that it looks like it's all done with a ruler you have a little bit more of a natural feel to it if you want a little bit more of a uh, uh, of a look that's uh, what's the word I'm looking for natural more um yeah I can't think of there's a certain word I'm looking for but more natural feel that's not so cold and not so rigid but yeah that is another way of doing that now another way of doing this is when you want those really big bold speed lines and in that case you can do it through this you would obviously the easiest way I've found to do it is if you uh, do, turn on drawing assist again and you're just going down picking out kind of where you want your speed lines and then turn that drawing assist off and what I would do is I would go in kind of hold your line down a little bit there and now you're just making these uh, straight lines by holding your pencil down on the canvas and then you have these really thick bold speed lines obviously you would want to clean that up so it has a, a better point at the end of that uh, line there but basically that's what you can do it that way this would take a very long time but it does have that nice effect if you're uh, if you really want that line you see these all the time in manga and anime where the speed line is just super bold and it's not really thin it adds uh, a, in my opinion a much bigger dramatic effect and so you would just do this the whole way around and you can do as many as you wanted like if you wanted to do uh, a little one in the middle and then a really sharp one coming down and then you would just connect it again all you're doing is drawing the line holding the pin to the uh, to screen connecting it so it's one forms one shape and then you have these big bold speed lines like that it's gonna take a long time especially depending on the pin you're using you're gonna have to clean up some spots so a nice easy way of doing it is finding someone who has some brushes already prepared uh, let me see let me dig into my brush pack here and I will pop up on the screen what I've found and how I've used them okay I organized this all up so you didn't have to wait and watch me scatter through my iPad to figure out all my brushes and everything and what I've done is I'll show you a couple different brushes that I've bought or a couple different brush packs that I've uh, purchased from a few different artists over on Etsy uh, if you're looking for a quick and easy way to do these type of designs or pretty much any kind of designs There's a lot of artists out there who offer their services and then offer their products too that have different brushes I've I've gotten a bunch of different brushes from different artists that have all kinds of different designs and um, It's just really because I don't have the patience to make my own But I might do in eventually do that because even though these are some pretty great um, Options and I will provide the links in the description down below um, they still have a few uh, limitations as far as what I'm trying to do with them. But anyways, let's get into it. So the first one is, uh, let's see, I think this is from Sammy's Art or Sammy Arts Studio. And basically she has a whole list of different, as you can see here on the screen, different um, types of speed line and power, power brushes that just like convey speed, power, motion, all kinds of stuff. And the ones I use are at the bottom here. Um, so basically it's this type of speed line and all you have to do tap the screen boom and you got it just like that the thing is they only come in one des one design so you got to really figure out how you're going to try to use it you can switch your, your art around and do it that way or another way is once you hit the screen tap the design and you got the design marker on there just hit the arrow button and then you can resize it to uh, whatever size you want to use it just be aware that depending on the size of artwork that you're working on and uh, the level of uh, DPI that you've uh, chosen for your art you might get some blurriness in there because Procreate is known for that blurriness but as you can see I put that art, art on there and boom you would have that perfect speed lines right there and you could just go in here and erase little ones if you want to do it that way have certain ones you want to get rid of the whole speed line you don't want that one there easy as that you can also put it behind the uh, 
line art so just move it down there and it would go behind there but yeah really super easy I really like that one another one or another pack that I've purchased from a different artist was from Hatter's Loft and then that one she has these really awesome different ones going on here too I use these uh, especially the the diagonal ones you can just go across boom just like that very easy makes it super convenient just to put in those uh, burst lines there undo that she has a few different ones here she also has a bunch of other brushes that come in this pack I think it's a pack of 50 or something like that so some of these artists they charge you know anywhere between five to twenty dollars some of them a little bit more but a lot of times they offer a lot of different brushes in those packs and they come in like I said come in really handy really convenient you don't have to do a whole lot of work on them all you have to do pick the brush you want and go go to town with it so that for instance on this one from Hatter's Loft she has this cross stitching one here so if you're trying to put in some cross stitching in the background how easy is that then you just add a speed line Let's go with, here's this one. This is a pretty nice one. It's just super dense. And then, wow. So you could really get the effect that way. Anyway, there you have it. That's how I create speed lines in the comics that I'm working on, Amazing Red Bee and Madcap Wrestling. Like I said, the links for those are in the bottom, uh, at the, in the description. They are on Webtoons, on Topus, and are on their own website. Uh, like I said, it's pretty easy just to go out and buy these brushes from different artists that offer them. But if you're just wanting to do it yourself, you don't have to spend any money. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer, but it can be done by using the drawing assist when you pick the perspective tool. And yeah, it comes out pretty good. And that's like what I did with this one. I've used those brushes on some other pages, but on this one, I really like how these speed lines came out. And yeah, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.